welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as a verifiable semantic searching scheme by optimal matching over encrypted data in public cloud before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about the project so basically in this project the author has proposed a concept of a verifiable semantic searching scheme so basically the semantic the word semantic means that you could ha have a, a word with different meanings the same word has some different meanings so the cloud should able to search the data according to the user input given keywords and also with that additionally it should add some semantic searching scheme and it should give the results according to that and and also using this optimal matching over encrypted data because we are not going to only store the data plain data in the cloud so it is going to be in encrypted format so it should able to find that optimal matching over the encrypted data format so here you can see the entities data owner data user and the cloud server and here the data owner uploads the its, its document in encrypted format in the cloud server and data users make the search using the trapdoor and get the results and the proof from the cloud server and here you can see in the storage there is a search and prove concept where it it has the optimizer which finds according to the user data users given trapdoor query so let us see the execution of the project now so we have implemented this project in java using netbeans 8.2 so let me load the project into the netbeans ide and also make sure that you have already attached the mysql database in the mysql and kindly wait till this progress is completed meanwhile before executing the project if you are having any antivirus or firewall you should stop it because to sending the keys to the concerned users we will be using the email so if you are using any antivirus and the default firewalls will be blocking so you can just temporarily stop it for few minutes so let me stop this antivirus which I am having and also the firewall so in case if you are not stopping this you could you, you, you would have not received the keys in your email and now you can see the project is completely loaded in the NetBeans and just right click it and click run So this is the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title a verifiable semantic searching scheme by optimal matching over encrypted data in the public cloud and also with the abstract of the project that is already mentioned in the base paper. So here you can see the entities data owner data user and the cloud. So first we'll go for the data owner part as I am a new user I will be registering by clicking the registration. So here in the data owner registration you can enter the details. So let me enter the data owner as the name JP Infotech and the email ID JP Infotech projects at gmail.com and the phone number and the address and the password and click sign up. So now the registration is success and click OK. Now I'll you can enter the data owner login with the credential that you have entered during the registration process and click login so the login is success and click ok so here you can see the welcome screen of the data owner with the data owner name so here you can have the options of upload file my files requested file downloaded files and logout so first go for the upload file so first you can enter the you can just select the file that you wanted to upload just you can enter a 
semantic query or a keyword to this file. So now I have chosen the file to upload that is mobile.txt and enter a semantic query called mobile and now I will click upload to upload this file. So before that as we are using uh, this is a cloud project we should save the data in the cloud. So we will be using DriveHQ cloud service provider to store our data in the cloud. So this is the cloud service that we will be using to store the data. So first we will click upload. So now you can see the file is uploaded successfully and click OK and go to my files. In the my files you can see the file ID with the file name, the keyword, the decryption key and the uploaded time. So it is now confirmed that it has been uploaded in the local host now in the database. Now let me check in the cloud also. So just go to the drive HQ login. So now you can see here mobile.txt. You can see that date and time 27 for 2021, 7.45 pm, the same thing. And just if you click it, you can see the content has been encrypted because you could not save the plain text. So it will be encrypted in the cloud. So now let me log out from the cloud part. So it is made sure that your data is uploaded in the cloud. So now let me log out from this data owner part so let me go to the data user part so as i am a new data user so let me log in register first before logging in so data user registration part so let me enter my name and an email id of this data user part and click sign up and the registration is success and now let me log in with the data user credential the login is success and click ok and here you can see the welcome screen of the data user with the data user name and here you can see the search key search file requested file downloaded file and logout so first go for the search key so before searching if the data user before searching the uh, the file in the data user you should have some a uh, key so thus that key should be so before uh, searching a file in the cloud so the data user should get a search key so to get the search key click this get search key And once if you click this get search key, you can just go to your email and check the search token. And also note that this search token will be valid only for five minutes from now. So this is a as a one as this is like a one time keyword or it is like a temporary. So every time when a user going to search, you should have the exact and the current key to search the file. So here you can see the search file. You can enter the one time secret key expired in which will be expired in five minutes. So just enter. So this is to prevent the cloud server from unauthorized login. So let me search a file the file keyword called technology and click search. And now you can see I have searched the name with technology and here you can see the file that we have it is been shown is like mobile.txt and lab.txt because this is a semantic word so let me show how to add the semantic search also so now let me search again with some other file name say example mobile and click search so now you can see if I am searching with the 
mobile.txt you can see the with the file name mobile.txt and also laptop.txt and also here you can see the file which we uploaded that is mobile.txt has been also been displayed so once if we need any of this file first the data user should give a request to the the data owner so here in the requested file you can see now the file that we have requested and the status is waiting because still the data owner has not approved the file so once if you have approved only you can able to download it so if you click download also it will be asking for the key in case if you are giving some bogus key or fake key you can see this the key value is incorrect value so you cannot able to download it so let me log out and go to the data owner and i'll just approve it So in the requested files you can see so here you can see that the username who has requested the file and what is the file id and for file name and once if this data owner wants to approve you can approve or in case if you want to reject also you can reject so let me approve and show you so first it has been shown that it is approved so let me log out and go to the data user part So here you can see the requested files here you can see the status is now approved earlier it was waiting state and just click download so now if you to download this you wanted the decryption key so now so now the user could have got the decryption key as the data owner has accepted it so here you can see the file name and what is the access key for it and just copy this and you can paste it here and click verify and here you can see the contents so once if you have been uh, okay with this content or if you want to download just click download so let me save it in the desktop and if you open it you can see the content and in downloaded files you can see which all the files that you have downloaded it is being displayed over here and click log out now let me go to the cloud part and show you so once after entering the cloud details you can see the details of cloud files data owner data user downloaded file adding the semantic query view the semantic query the graph and logout so first we'll go for the cloud file so these are the files that are available in the clouds now and data owner so these are the data owner that are available now currently and data user part you can see these are the data users that are available currently and downloaded files you can see who are all the what are the files that are downloaded by the data which are the users and what is the downloaded date and time so now here comes the semantic part so in case if you wanted to add some semantic query which is not already available also you can able to add it here so here you can see the semantic query So let me add some topic call for example uh, semester so let me add some related world like college year sim so let me add this semantic query and click submit and if you wanted to view the semantic queries that are available just click view semantic queries and here you can see the the semantic queries that is for example college you can see student teacher professor technology you can see mobile laptop data for the sem for semester you can see college year and sim so now let me show you with the example of adding any of this with this topic okay so let me upload a file so let me upload a file with uh, the semantic query semester 
and this is the content and click upload the file is uploaded successfully now and click ok now you can see that the file that is uploaded here now log out and go to the data user part now to access it you wanted again the key because the the key that uh, already given would have expired i'll show you that so let me use the same key that already given here so let me search with the same key and click search here you can see the key is incorrect incorrect search key because the key is already expired for security purpose we have made one time key or temporary key so to get the search token again just click get search key so now you can go to the email and check it so now you can see the search token is received just copy it and now use this search token and you can type it as sim just click type sim and click search now you can see the uh, file that is given we have searched for sim only we are not search the exact name but you can see the file that is shown as youtube.txt which is the file that we uploaded for this query so this is the semantic concept so the related according to the related words the files can be shown to the optimal matching words is shown over the public cloud so if you wanted this file again you can able to make a request and you can get it from the data owner part now let me go to the evaluation part So now here in the cloud you can see the la final part the graph which is not shown earlier so just click this graph and here you can see the dynamic graph this is a dynamic this is not a static graph this varies according to the file that you are uploading and downloading so here you can see the graph with the average encryption time in microseconds and here you can see the decryption time so if you wanted to save this data this graph analysis part also you can save it just you can click this and just save it you can see the data has been saved here so this is a dynamic graph it varies according to the files that you are in encrypting and up decrypting and click log out and this is all about the project a verifiable semantic searching scheme by optimal matching over encrypted data in public cloud and thank you for watching